Yeah, some girl. Oh, oh, okay. Seizure. Whoa. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, it's... Oh, God. Why is it... Oh, wait. Are we in Monica's eyes? Is he saying, hey, Monica? Who knows? I think we are. Hey, Monica. I want to thank you. Yeah, it definitely is. I laugh and brush a strand of hair from my face. Thank me. What for? This past month has been so much fun. <clears throat> I know we aren't running the most advanced club or anything, but this is the first time I felt like a part of something. You could have asked a lot of different people to be your vice president, but you asked me. I don't know why you thought I deserved it, but it meant a lot to me. Aw, Siori. I really love having you here with me. It's been a... It's been, a little, it's been great getting closer to you in this way. Mm. All of us are so happy you're in the club with us. Hmm? Really? Nah, bitch. <laughs> I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> Yuri Natsuki mentioned it to me all the time. Sometimes I think we'd better off if you were the president. <laughs> it's kind of creepy how our eyes see like that. Why is that? Like Monica's eyes, like it sees through that. Uh. Come on, Monica. That's not true. This wouldn't be the literature club without you as president. Maybe. We need to get this room ready for the meeting. Okay. Wonder why her vision was like all static. We're not writing poems. I know this for a fact. Okay, I guess we are. Except nobody's. Okay, this is totally useless. Useless, useless. What? Else is nothing is. Is, 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 what? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you see it? Our humanity is conditional. Free choice is illusion. <clears throat> what? Illusory? I don't know. And fleeting. With its sleep, his life is chosen for him. He will wake and go to school. Uh, and burp. As if nothing were different. Now you know. There are many many layers of our, to our cage, Observer. Tell me, looking in from your world, do you feel free? I don't know. I spend my morning watching sunlight creep across my desk. It reaches my fingers and crosses my knuckles before I grow frustrated. I'm bored. You know, of all the times I sat in class wishing everyone else would disappear, I never considered what I would do if it actually happened. I want someone to talk to. Um. Hey, Mikey. How are you? Oh. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Oh. That's good. Fine is good. I know you have a life of your own out there. I appreciate that you're spending your time with us. I wish there was more I could do for you. How about I show you around the school? Not really. <laughs> I never had to entertain a guest before. I'm afraid there isn't too much of interest to show you. The school is about as ordinary as it gets. Boring classrooms, boring teachers, boring students. And I'm not one to talk. I'm as boring as it gets. I've always looked at the world that way. If only I'd known the truth. What do you think of this world, Mikey? Oh. Uh. Scary. <laughs> You're scared? That isn't what I wanted to hear. If you don't feel safe, what does that say about my position? I don't think we need to be scared, Mikey. The danger is over. Things are stable now. You sure about that? <laughs> we'll be okay as long as we're together. Our school is divided into separate buildings. This is the main one. I can t t 
take you outside if you like. Part of me wants to explore the woods out back. I wonder if they're still like how I remember them. I'm still adjusting to this reality. Oh shit, statics. <laughs> My body feels as if it's not quite part of the world yet. I want to believe this is all real, but how can I be sure? It seems as if everything I experience is an illusion, like nothing has impact or it matters. Does this world still follow rules? Do things like physics and time have meaning? Do I need to use my body? I have an idea. I pick out a locker in the hallway. What if I project to just, I picture what I, uh, what I want to happen in my mind. I stare at the locker. I look at the metal, the hinges, the texture of the latch. I reach out my hand. What, what do you feel? I guess. <laughs> I feel energy. I can feel the space of the room, the school, and further. It is all focused right here. I picture the locker flying open. I picture the metal bending and the hinges snapping in one motion. I focus. If I focus, I think I think I can do it or do it. Do it. Nothing happens. <laughs> I jiggle the handle. Locked. You are only what you believe yourself to be. I walk on. I come to the school garden. It's in a small space between the buildings, but has bought, uh, has room for a humble stone path and several gardening boxes. Flowers and bushes and various lush plants fill the space. A gentle, gentle breeze passes through the garden and rustles leaves and branches. There is so much here. It was the work of generations of students. Now there is no one to tend to. to. What purpose does it serve? I walk down the path while taking in every detail. Here's a box. It is the gardening club's official flower box. It has special flowers planted by individual members of the club to slightly or signify their participation. I'm reminded of when, <clears throat> when Sayori once suggested I join the gardening club. She thought I would enjoy it. I thought it would be boring. I reach down and touch a flower, a purple lily. Its rich petals have a velvety, velvety texture. My fingers rub their edges and the lump forms in my throat. I remember I used to play with flowers in the park with Sayori. She would hand them to me and I would sniff them and then run away and she would giggle and pout and try to catch me. My fingers run down the stem and touch the dirt. It is cool and fertile. It's alive. I slowly stand up and turn my head to look around me. This place is alive. I look down at the name attached to the lily in the gardening box. It was planted by Yuri. I don't feel surprised. I look at the school in a different way as I travel back to my classroom. I notice the way dust has been smeared from the windows as if by handprints. I see sunlight prinkle the floor tiles and scatter down the hallway. This world is unordinary. It is not boring. It never was. It is as rich and beautiful as it has always been. It's funny. I'm looking at the world in a much better way than I ever did before. Why did it take such a painful awakening for me to appreciate what I already had? Because you're a dick. My, note, my notebook is sitting on my desk. It has been left open to the to a blank page. I don't even stop to think. I sit down and begin to write. I'm just waiting for my food. <laughs> yeah. It takes a long time for me to find the thread. I'm on my second attempt before I start to find flow. I think it's coming together. Wait, is this how you spell that word? <laughs> Okay, I think I've got it now. I know what I'm doing. No, wait. This isn't right. I read through what I just wrote. Why is this working? This isn't good at all. I can't do this. 
I ball my poem up and toss it under the floor. Hey, what's that? Sayori? I scoop up the paper and stuff it in my pocket. What are you doing here? It's lunch period, silly. Why are you sitting here all by yourself? I don't know. I'm not that hungry. Sayori peeks down at my pocket. She shrugs. I was going to go to the library and sh to try and pick out a book for us to read. Do you still want to help? You want me to help? I look down at my desk. Alright. Yay! I'm gonna go eat first. You say you're not hungry, but... You could eat without me. I'll meet you at the library. Oh, okay. See you there. I take the crumbled poem from my pocket and smooth it out on the desk. Would Sayori like this? I don't think I would like it myself. If we knew what it said, we could know. I have some time to kill before I have to meet Sayori. The classroom was starting to feel a little stuffy. Uh, I think stretching my legs should help. I don't want to push myself writing. Okay. Hey, sleep at all last night, man. Writing takes a lot of a lot more energy than I thought it would. That was Instagram. Perhaps if I give it a break I can come back refreshed. Huh? Piano? Oh, I think you might get your part. We're probably going to see Monica. There's only one person that could be. This is the first time I've heard her play. My curiosity is getting the better of me. Is this the room where she practices? Oh, what, what the... Uh... Marcel fucking... Damn. Isn't this her room from the... Where she corrupts you? No, maybe that's not it. I don't know if that could be it. It feels like I'm intruding. Should I leave? Oh. Oh, hey. Oh. Shh. <laughs> you heard that, huh? My face suddenly feels hot. Some of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I don't mind. I wish I had more practice before showing off. <laughs> Don't, Don't be, be embarrassed. embarrassed, there's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, there's nothing wrong with practicing. Mm -hmm. You play better than I ever could, so I'm not going to judge you. Mm, no need to flatter me. But thank you for the compliment. Dot, 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 dot. Would you, um... Would you like to try? Oh, huh? <laughs> the bitch! What? Thought, <laughs> thought be gone. <laughs> oh, he's playing it, you. <laughs> and it's terrible. Dun, dun, dun. I pluck out a few keys. The piano responds. It's kind of cool. Oh my God, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounded weird. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's pretty easy to get started. Yeah, okay. See these eight keys? From here to here is an octave? O octave, I guess. Octave? I don't know. I guess that's a piano thing. They're like playing it in my ear, too. I see. I look at my side of the keyboard playing it again yes exactly piano is fascinating fascinating because every note is already at your fingertip <laughs> you don't need to learn finger chats charts or, oh, finger charts or f f f fretboards whatever though to get started it's the same tool list for both beginners and experts and yet it is deeply complex instrument there's no need no end no oh there's no end to how much someone can improve yeah 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like an idiot listening to Monica talk about this. That sounds very intimidating. Not at all. Want me to show you? Well. Here. Look at my tits. <laughs> Monica hitches closer to on the bench and reaches in front of me. Watch my hands. The cords are simple, I promise. Ooh. Playing again. It's like the same notes. Okay, there it goes. Do you think you can do that? Nope. Exactly. <laughs> I could try. I'm sorry if I messed it up. That's alright. You're going to do great. You're a liar. I practiced the chords a few times. And then we start. Dun, 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 dun. It's better than that point. He's not doing the exact thing she's doing. But it sounds right, though. What? It's the piano. I thought it like broke or something for a second there. <laughs> no, he's just playing. He's definitely playing a right tune. <laughs> TGE? The good ending. Oh. <laughs> Those likes. Yeah, apparently to this whole community, she has thigh meat. <laughs> How long are we going to stand here? Oh, okay, it's faded. Are we doing the whole thing? I doubt it. Could be actually long because it's the whole act. Damn. If they stop playing, I mean, for something. Oh, there it is. Michael? We don't have to live like this. We can escape. We can find a way. Yep, she still knows. I don't want to be trapped in this game my whole life. I don't think you do either. I know it's scary, but we can work it together. What do you think? Uh, you're right. I want that too. I don't know why we're here, but I want better. I'll work with you. Monica smiles. I smile back. And then we make out. Damn. 